Hi everybody, it's Kevin Goldberg and I am in St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana driving down to Shell Beach to meet with some of our shrimper and oysterman clients who we are helping with uh, uh, making their claim with the GCCF, which is the Gulf Coast Claims Facility, which has taken over the handling of BP claims. BP is no longer handling the payouts. It's been transferred to the GCCF, which is run by Ken Feinberg. Uh, for more information, you should check out www.gulfcoastclaimsfacility.com. It has a ton of information on it, and you can fill out your claim online if you so choose. Um, and I want to, I guess I want to talk for a minute about the types of payouts that we anticipate the GCCF is going to be making to our clients. Um, there are several items of damages that are recognized under the GCCF. The first item of damages is lost earnings and lost profits. And that's an item of damages that most of the fishermen, the shrimpers, the oystermen, they all have those kind of claims. Also, we believe that restaurants and other small businesses, obviously hotel chains that have lost business as a result of the Gulf oil spill are entitled to compensation and they should also make a claim through the GCCF for lost profits and lost earnings. A second item of damage is property damage. And there's both personal property damage and real property. The difference is personal property are things, and real property is, is your land, your real estate. So if the oil came onto your real estate and damaged it, then you have a right to be compensated for the damage to the value of your land. Um, a third type of damages, which we think is really important for the fishermen and the people in St. Bernard Parish, is what's called, called loss of subsistence damages. And what this is, is it basically means you're entitled to make a claim for damages for the seafood that your family would have, would have eaten, that you would have caught and brought home. And now that you can't do that, you probably have to go to the grocery store and buy food for your family. The cost that you're incurring in order to buy the food that you otherwise would have caught and pulled out of the Gulf of Mexico is loss of subsistence damages. And it's going to be important that you keep your receipts to document these, these various types of, of damage claims. Um, in terms of what the GCCF is going to pay out, we really don't know. And the only way we're gonna know that is by making some claims and seeing how Ken Feinberg and, and Mr. Rosen handle them and to see if he's gonna treat our clients fairly or not. There's a couple of things we do know. We do know that the claim fund is not gonna pay out any punitive damages. We are told that they're taking into consideration how close in proximity you are to the Gulf of Mexico. Now, what if you have a business that's a long way from the Gulf of Mexico, but you've experienced lost profits because of the oil spill? I would say, go ahead and make a claim. Let's see if the fund pays out or not. Because whether the fund pays or not, under the Oil Pollution Act, if your business lost revenue or profits or earnings because of the oil spill, then you're entitled to be compensated for that. And, you know, I think Feinberg has said that one thing he's considering is proximity to the Gulf. I still think that those claims should be made. They should be made now. And let's just see what, what happens. Um, Another big issue that we're dealing with right now is if you make a claim with the fund, uh, how long is it gonna pay you for? And when you make a claim with the fund, there's really three options. You can make a, pay, uh, a claim for an emergency payment for one month, an emergency payment for six months, or you can make a claim for a final payment. Now the emergency payments, whether it's for one month or six months, it is not going to require that you sign a release or give up any of your rights. You're only going to have to sign up, sign a release and give up your rights to file a lawsuit if you file for a final payment. And that's basically you submit your claim with a, some certain an amount of dollars that you're willing to settle with BP for and 
you know, they can either say, yes, that sounds like a good deal. We're going to give you your check, but you got to sign a release. Or they can say no, or they can negotiate with you. We just don't know how that's going to be handled. But if you make a final payment claim, you are going to be required to sign a release with at least BP and probably with the other defendants as well. The other defendants are uh, entities such as Transocean, Halliburton, Cameron Seafood, and Andarco, and, and there may be others. Um, but that issue is sort of up in the air. As you can see, we're coming into a place called Yaklovsky, Louisiana. There's the water tank. I don't know if you can see it, but it's up there. And we're getting real close to Shell Beach. Um, I'm gonna sign off now, and I'll have more about the, the Gulf Coast oil spill, the claims process later. If you need to reach me, please feel free to call me at 888-213-8140. We're here to help with your Gulf Coast oil claim uh, case.